Good morning, guys. This is what my life currently looks like. I do want to replace it. Uh, yes. So, I just got out the computer and I uh, was exporting a video. I, oh, by the way, I dropped off uh, Bree last night and got to a spot actually kind of where we were. So, I drove like two hours to get back down here to Tamales Bay. We were hanging out over on that side yesterday at Point Reyes. Bolinas in San Francisco is that way. North Oregon is that way. Um, I drove by last night. I found this amazing spot, and I thought to myself, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to live there for the night. So here I am. I'm still here, and it's like four o'clock. <clears throat> I didn't sleep so well because I got here at like I don't know, 1 a.m. or 1:30 or something like that. There was someone parked in front of me, whatever. I woke up and it was hot, I didn't sleep enough. So I've just been kind of hanging out, napped, took some phone calls for some stuff, some TV stuff. No good news yet. The um, travel show uh, ostriches still have their heads in the sand. Can't figure out up from down, right from wrong, left from right, which is fine. Uh, I don't need you guys. I'll do it on my own. Oh, by the way, today would be a great day to tell you guys about how amazing this uh, Wi-Fi device is. So let me tell you what exactly I'm using. Uh, first of all, thank you guys to Virgin Mobile for sponsoring me. Uh, the deal, if you guys didn't know, the sponsorship thing, thing ended in December. Uh, I feel slightly like a trader for promoting another product, but I got to tell you, they don't have this, um, to my knowledge, and I gotta say, having a Wi-Fi hotspot is essential. So this is what I'm using. This little thing, kinda hard to tell because it's black on black on black. Uh, this is an AT&T Mobley. Good heavens, I can't even get this off. This is an AT, ah, there we go. AT&T Mobley. It plugs into your OB2 reader into your car computer it uh, is $20 a month and it gives you apparently unlimited data with no data prioritization which means it slows you down after 22 gigs like other people, other plans. Uh, I have a signal booster, this is a WeBoost. Uh, Jim, the solar boondocker from Utah told me about this device, uh, bought it refurbished, I think it was about 115 bucks. So you, I have an adapter, USB, it goes in there like so. Then I put this device into the signal booster. Bam, it boosts my signal. This cord connects into the signal booster. It goes outside. Well, shoot. Let me see if I can grab it. Bam, magnetic antenna. This thing sucks, by the way. And I pr probably should be getting a much larger one. As you can see, it's very small. Um, but I gotta tell you guys, it works. It's so good. It's amazing. Um, this little combo is insane. Twenty dollars a month, maybe it's twenty-two. Really cheap, really awesome. Apparently, Verizon has some deal. If you're a member of um, some camping uh, forum, Jim just texted me this morning and told me about this. Forty-eight dollars a month unlimited. Uh, probably a similar type demographic for the mobile uh, internet person. They probably don't know that there's a bunch of full-time people on the road, um, but. For those people who have an RV, I'm guessing they would probably just use it intermittently, which is probably their business structure for offering such an insane price. So, that being said, that is my review. Let me show you the box, or boxes, so you know what we're working with. Bear with me. Bam, that's what the box looks like. AT&T Mobley, mobile hotspot. It's made for your vehicle, it plugs into your car thing just like so. It has all these bands, if anybody knows what that means, knock yourself out. This is the device. Here's the refurbished um, WeBoost. There is the kit and all the numbers. Comes in a box, plugs, accessories, all kinds of fun stuff. So, that is my very rushed and unprofessional <laughs> review of this thing. 
gotta tell you, if you don't have service, this thing is not gonna work. AT&T doesn't have the best service nationwide for coverage. However, if you are in a service area which works, I did a speed test the other day and I was getting like 16 megabit per second uploads and I was getting it someplace like 24 megabit per second downloads uh, but then somewhere else I was getting like 2 megabit per second downloads and 14 <laughs> megabit per second upload so it doesn't make any sense um, well actually it does based on coverage area but everybody should be completely aware that cell service varies depending on your location but if you do have service 22 bucks a month is a fantastic deal am i right or am i right <laughs> some real talk for a minute here um getting a little wrapped up i don't know if wrapped up is the correct word but i'm getting a little focused i should say on like the numbers part of what i'm doing and i gotta say I do have goals, and they're very big goals, but my goals is basically like a threshold where I can, can, can continue to do what I'm doing, uh, just from ad revenue and stuff. So uh, while it is nice to have goals, it is also, honestly, it kind of throws me off my game a little bit. I get thinking about too much about like the numbers side of stuff when I really should be thinking about the creative and fun part you see what happened with my personality I got all excited because I started to think about having fun and that is what this project is about is to have fun <laughs> so I'm gonna try my best not to think about that stuff but um you know when I get in hustle mode the other brain hem hemisphere uh, kicks in and then I start being all analytical and you know things like that so um, it is a dance that I am doing and um, you know uh, because basically this is a one-man operation I am currently talking to my right hand I edit with both of my hands and while I do have help uh, as far as like you know representation and stuff like that um, you know it's uh, there's no one there's no producer to tell me what to do there's no editor director network anything it's basically me and my ambition so it's a uh, gets a little hard sometimes and it's a little hard on my spirit when I start to think too analytically about what I'm doing um, you know but it, it is it is fun to see my channel grow and to network with people and stuff like that um, I just need to remind myself that <laughs> no matter what <laughs> No matter what, you're not going to fail. No matter what, this is going to be a success because of all the experiences, all the video I'm creating, all the friends I'm making, all the enjoyment that you guys hopefully are having from watching these things, all the, you know, and, and not to really focus on the other part. Although, reality is, the truth is, you know, I got to have an income when I run out of money. Otherwise, I got to have to stop this but I'll be forced to stop this so um, anything you guys can do to help out in that, in that regard would be amazing uh, like I said before you know text the videos to your friends who like similar things leave it on the public computer at the library or whatever spam people whatever spray paint my name <laughs> oh mosquito um, anyways I just want to share that with you because it, it's uh, been a little hard especially when I took a little break with the little surgery thing I get thinking in my head too much about like what about this and what about that and what if, what if it ha this happens and what if that happens and um, so yeah it's well I do, like I said well I do have goals it's it's kind of tough on me sometimes when I think you know there's a lot of pressure I'm putting on myself and you know uh, while to some people it might not seem like you know that big of a risk you know to give up a job that you don't like it's it, it is it's uh, giving up like a rad place giving up your home giving up your car giving up your community where you live and the normal routine that you have and uh, being out here all by yourself on the road not knowing if your vehicle is gonna break down or if you're gonna make it to your destination or 
someone's gonna crash into you or something so um yeah just want to share that with you guys so thanks for understanding and uh i'm gonna edit a couple videos and then we will hit the road Stinson Beach, this part here. Bolinas is on the other side of the estuary. I just want to point out an insane boondocking location. It's totally legal to park overnight in Marin County. Uh, you don't need GPS coordinates. Just take this road <laughs> between the two and pick your spot. Because look at how amazing this is. There's tons of space here. I've seen plenty of people park overnight. I've parked overnight over there in a previous video. Uh, last night I was just 15 miles or 12 miles past that way. So it's fine, many people do it. Uh, other counties, you cannot. Well, that's a first for me. That's a sunset part two. <laughs> because I am uh, driving up this very large hill because uh, Highway 1 is still um, destroyed uh, more towards the Golden Gate Bridge. I have to go up this hill. And so the higher elevation <laughs> let me see the sunset for the second time. Right, just so you guys know I'm not being a wuss I'm not overreacting it is currently 91 degrees 91 degrees the high in this area was 106 the low is 73 now if anybody likes that kind of weather well you should come here to the Central Valley <laughs> that is not my cup of tea whatsoever I made a huge mistake <laughs> I was thinking it was gonna be nice and cool because I was gonna take the 101 I was kind of plotting out where I was gonna park tonight and then the GPS took me down the five and uh, then I realized oh crap it's really hot so like right now this is exactly what I did not want to do is sleep in the heat because I don't have an AC I only have a fan so I'm in a little pickle I'm tired it's um, a little bit past midnight I think and uh, I'm just going to take advantage of the guy's lights right there just so I can show you I'm just parked next to a bunch of s trucks on a side street there's uh, several gas stations over there. I'll probably fill up in the morning. It was uh, pretty good prices for uh, biodiesel 20, B20. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm exhausted. Hopefully I sleep and hopefully I see you guys tomorrow.